today I am going to go up to Orland Park today by myself Alex doesn't have any idea but I want to put together like a little um, you know birthday bag for him and I want there to be some Trader Joe's stevia in it and it's really my only option to go do that because my best friend that's gotten it gotten it for us for before and my cousin that's gotten it for us before I won't see them before Wednesday so I'm going to drive up to Orland Park today by myself I can't let Alex know <laughs> um, because yeah and it's gonna be hard because we're all we're almost always talking throughout the day so when he calls me or texts me or whatever I'm just gonna be like oh yeah I'm just working on something here or whatever so we'll see how it goes but um, I'm gonna drive up there today hopefully there's not too much traffic I'm just planning on putting my podcast on and driving up there uh, getting that there are a couple other new things at Trader Joe's that I want to try too and maybe I'll do some other shopping in Orland Park while I'm there It doesn't look too busy at all. Okay, so I lied about it not being too busy in there. It was insane. It was crazy. There was this little boy with a poop emoji hat on, okay? Just envision that. And he was running up and down in the aisles, like just going back and forth. I have no idea who his parents were. Like, I don't, I thought it was a joke. I almost vlogged it, but I'm like, I'm not going to put this little kid. He was probably 10 or 12 or something like that. Um, but it was just so hard to get up and down the aisles. It was so busy in there. But I got through it. I got what I needed. I got a couple extra things for Alex. I got a couple of keto things for me, uh, just like low carb things that I've been wanting. Um, so I feel good about it. I got, some, I got some of that almond flour. I really couldn't even film in there. I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. Oh, oh, one thing I wanted to tell you guys about was I know Trader Joe's has like a cauliflower crust now, like a frozen one that you can just, you know, make your pizza on it. Um, but here's the problem for me at least it's made with cornmeal and it is I think it's like 17 or 18 carbs or something like that, which is totally fine for people, um, that aren't, eating low carb or they're not trying to watch their carbs and sugar and stuff but for me personally it's like I have to just continue to make my own which I don't mind at all because it's like I don't know it's just it's not worth the 18 carbs for me uh especially with like the cornmeal or whatever and it's easy to make you know but I know everybody has been super excited about it but it's just like for me the point of cauliflower crust is to keep it low carb it's not like the best crust ever in life you know but I do it because I want it to be lower carb I also like the fat uh the fat head crust dough uh but yeah just know that the Trader Joe's one is not low carb keto whatever so you don't need to like drive out of your way to go get it or anything if you are a low carber as well i did get this for my part of my lunch today i think i'm gonna run to starbucks and get some of those egg bites and um so, like a coffee and then have this with it as well and that'll just be my first meal today because it's about 222 right now i literally spent over an hour in trader joe's um and it took forever to get here. The traffic was just insane. It was crazy. So I'm glad that I was able to come up here today and not have to wait for Alex because I don't know, like it just seems like the construction is just crazy. So anyways, this is what I'm gonna have with some egg bites and some coffee here in a few minutes. Got my coffee and I had the egg bites. They were so good and so was like the salami and cheese. I only ate half of the cheese though. I don't know, I haven't been really loving like provolone for some reason, I think that's what it was. Uh, but the coffee's really good. I actually came over to this Target here 
uh, in Orland Park. I've actually never been to this one. I've been to the one in Tinley Park. That's the one we usually go to when we're up here. Um, but I saw this one across the street from Starbucks. I said, I might as well try out a new Target and see what's up in there. Um, and I might grab a couple of things for dinner or something tonight. Um, I'm asking Alex right now what he wants. So that's what's going on. I'm just going to kind of spend probably another hour up in this area and then head home before Alex gets home from work. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys have the Roomba, but if, do any of you guys have like the Hoover version of it or the Bissell version of it? They're on sale right now. This one's $100 in savings. So if you guys have these, let me know. I'm gonna look on Amazon at those reviews too, but, or whatever this is, the Neato. I don't know, they're all on sale. So I thought I'd just show you guys quickly the couple of things that I got at Trader Joe's for myself and for Alex. Um, I'll start with the stuff for me. Of course, I got a bag of the shredded green cabbage. I love this stuff. I literally used to eat at least a bag of this a day at the ranch. It's the exact same stuff. I loved it. Um, I would add ground turkey to it, but it could be great for crack slaw or whatever you want to use it for. I got this really, really good salsa from Trader Joe's. I love this stuff. It's so good. Um, and it's two carbs and it's really delicious. Like I really, really like it. I got some more of the chomp sticks. I just got two of them. Um, but they did repackage them. They did like a rebrand or something. I really like that. So those are good. They're also zero carbs. Delicious. I've never tried Trader Joe's macadamia nuts, but they were cheap compared to the ones I got at Walmart the other day. Cause those were really expensive for like a little tiny, uh, like bottle of them. So I got these and then I can just refill the little bottle. It'll be easy. So those looked really good. I think they were $8.99 for 10 ounces. Then I got some almond flour because I only have a couple of tablespoons of almond flour left and I love almond flour. Then I, of course I got this. I already had this with my egg bites earlier. Uh, it was just salami and cheese. And then I got a bigger version of it uh, that I can just have in the fridge to make little roll-ups and stuff for lunch or dinner or whatever. Uh, but I really like this, it's good stuff, it's good quality. You can tell it's really good quality. Then, one of the newer things they had were these organic kosher hot and spicy dill pickle chips. I'm so excited to try them. I can't wait, I love dill pickles and I love anything spicy, so these should be really delicious. Uh, I did get one of their alkaline electrolyte waters that are really good and then for alex i got four liquid stevias because of course they're his favorite i'm gonna make a little bag for him with that and then i got him two bags of the baked cheese crunchies which are basically just like baked cheetos he loves them my mom loves these they are really really good and you can tell that they just don't have as much like grease and crap in them you know what i mean so this is the little trader joe's haul and i'm excited about it this is the bag i forgot yesterday when i went to my parents and i forgot <laughs> my freaking spf in there um but of course i use the stuff at my parents house it was like an it wasn't a conventional brand it was a more natural brand i can't remember what it was called um but i didn't really put enough on my face but i still have yet to use this so i'm excited to give it a try hopefully i get to use it before we go to vegas to make sure that it works but uh hi nolly hi alex just got home and i'm heading out there with him right now we're gonna put that cubs license plate on my car uh we didn't do it the other day because it got too dark and we wanted to do have the natural light um, so I'm heading out there with him right now. Nala's doing much better now. I don't know, I just think the oil stuff has really helped her. But uh, yeah, we get to get this Cubs thing up, so let's go see it. First of all, I need a car wash. I wish they still had that uh, buy one month, get one free thing happening. But it's gonna go right here in the middle. This is what it looks like. It's like a little mirror. Hi, it's so nice, I love that. Here's the finished product. 
It looks so, so good. I love it. Where did you get that again? Uh, Lids. In the mall? Champion store or something. Thank you so much for doing that. I love it. Seriously. Oh, it's gorgeous. What? Lids locker room, if you want one. So we're now on our way to JCPenney's because I ordered a couple of things to the store so I didn't have to pay for shipping. What is what is this guy doing? And, ooh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, I've never seen it turn so slow. That was terrible. Um, But anyways, we're gonna go pick that up uh, and then, yeah, I don't know what we'll be doing after that. Something for dinner if we'll get something to make at home or we'll go grab dinner, I'm not sure. But I got my boo with me, taking care of me with that license plate. I don't really need to be using the drill on my car, so <laughs> I think it's best that he did it. the end of the Cubs game um, we won again that's four games in a row that we've won we actually lost six in a row on the road when we were in the West Coast so um, being on a four game winning streak is really nice right now and we're in first place again which is awesome in in our division so that's awesome I keep saying R because you know I'm just part of the Cubs no no I just I love the Cubs so much obviously um, but I realized I forgot to tell you guys a little bit about Vegas in yesterday's video. So we were going to Vegas at the end of the month. Um, it's basically we're going for like a triple birthday party for my one of my aunt's 60th, 60th birthday, one of my aunt's 50th birthdays, and then one of their family members like on the other side of the family. Um, I think it's her 40th birthday. So we, the entire family is going out there, like all parts of the family and it's gonna be crazy uh, but I'm really 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 excited for it because a couple of the days that we're there Alex and I are gonna just get to spend some time together on the strip he's never been to Vegas ever and if you guys have been following me for a while we go my mom my sister and I go probably once a year usually we did not go last year uh, but before that I mean we've basically gone every year because we do have family there so um, it's just always so fun. I mean, we don't spend a whole bunch of time on the strip when we go. We'll usually do like a day. But I just feel like taking Alex out there, I have to, we have to go to the strip. We have to go to Fremont Street. You know, we have to do like all the touristy things. Um, I just, the last time I was in Vegas was for my bachelorette party and that was the time of my life, you know? So I'm really, really excited for this. I'm excited that Alex gets to kind of experience everything. Um, you guys know he doesn't drink or anything, which I mean, you don't really need to being in Vegas. You can just people watch and have a great time, you know? But we are, we're gonna be staying at the Link, which is like right off the strip, um, which is where we stayed for my bachelorette party, but we got a good deal on it and I just really enjoyed it there, you know? Like I really liked that area. So we'll probably just hang out with my cousins and stuff there. It's gonna be so much fun, I'm really excited. And the best part is about Nala, um, one of our friends is going to be watching her so we don't have to board her or anything so our friends will be watching her and it'll just be really really nice she's actually going to be at my parents house um and then the girl that's watching her can kind of like hang out at the pool and like you know do whatever she wants to over there and nala will be good for the whole week because i'm telling you like i was contemplating not going because i don't want to leave her and board her for seven days you know so this just all worked out it's so nice that she's doing this for us um but yeah so i'm super excited for vegas i know there are some of you that are close uh, you know that either live in Vegas or live close to Vegas um, and again I don't really know exactly <laughs> everything we're gonna be doing there uh, once I know like the days that we'll be at the strip and stuff I could you know let you guys know I plan on vlogging while we're there I'm hoping that you know the hotels have uh, free Wi-Fi and stuff so I can do the vlogs at night if I want to or whenever I have time to um, but I do plan on vlogging the whole time because I I don't know I just love Vegas. I love it. And I know it's so hot this time of year, but I prefer that type of heat, like the dry heat, rather than like the humidity that we have here. 
But yeah, I'm super, super, super excited for Alex to experience everything. Uh, but I'm most excited to see my family um, and just kind of celebrate them, you know, celebrate their birthdays. And I think Jeff and Francie might be coming with us too. They live like four hours. They live in San Diego, so they live like four hours from Vegas and they can they're thinking about bringing um, like just driving up there for the weekend and hanging out with us that weekend too so I'm hoping all of that works out but we really need this little vacay so it should be perfect you think we're just gonna kind of end this here tonight though because uh, we're gonna watch House of Cards tonight tomorrow is going to be a fun day I kind of have to be quiet about this um, so Alex works in the morning tomorrow and I have a lot that I need to get done in the morning as well here from home but tomorrow evening we are going to New Buffalo, Michigan which is about an hour from us and my parents and my sister and possibly some of my cousins are coming up there too, maybe my aunt uh, and we are going to go to one of Alex's favorite places, one of his favorite restaurants um, and this little ice cream place that they that they have there and then we're gonna go to Four Winds Casino because he loves playing blackjack with my mom like he just loves it it's it's like his thing and he's all about tradition and this will be the third year we've done this for his birthday if you guys watched our vlogs last year then you saw that we did this last year as well so we're just taking a random day to go up there it's the day before his birthday and just kind of enjoy you know so everybody's getting off work and we're going straight up there so that'll be tomorrow evening but we'll be vlogging everything and hopefully Alex maybe he'll win some money at blackjack or something you know um, but yeah that's the plan for tomorrow and then for his actual birthday I don't even have like a ton of plans yet we had thought about going to the Cubs game or like up to Chicago to go to the planetarium or something like that but we're just kind of playing everything by ear with that um, but yeah tomorrow should be a lot of fun so we'll definitely take you with us uh, we're just gonna watch House of Cards tonight I have to shower and do all my face stuff I've actually I need to watch um, some of this like Young Living skincare stuff which I I mean you guys know I love Young Living skincare but there was like a little class tonight and um, so I need to watch all of that. I could actually link it below for you guys if you guys want to see it too. It's not just for Young Living members. Anybody can watch it. I think it's about an hour long. Um, but I'm going to watch that. Watch House of Cards. Take a shower and go to bed. So we will see you guys tomorrow for the first part of Alex's little birthday celebration. Uh, thank you as always so much for watching tonight. Thank you for all of the love for Nala uh, and all of the suggestions about her paws and stuff she really is a lot better today though because of that tender tush stuff um but i love you guys be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and leave a comment below so i can come say hi again i've really loved coming back and commenting again uh that was something that i was really feeling bad about not doing for a while you know so i love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow